Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum hasn't really done much today. Ethereum really needs to catch up. I mean, you know, altcoins seem to be performing today. Ether, well, maybe, but not really as much as many of the altcoins. So Ether is a bit, bit slow still, could still catch up a little bit um, on some of the altcoins. Bitcoin isn't doing much at the moment. Ether also not really. Altcoins are more interesting today. Ethereum is still sort of in this range here between the red line and the green line, basically between what is that, 2865 and uh, $3,300. Yeah, $300. That's the range in which we are currently moving. And currently, we need just to see if Ether can break out above the high that was formed on Monday, which is that $3,300 level. Overall, we're still tracking here a wave four correction, which might have completed on Saturday the 13th. A wave down, B wave up, C wave down, reached the 100% extension target, ideal target, we talked about that. From here, I have absolutely no problem with um, the potential turnaround from here. Ether did break support, we know that. Um, Still, though, I'm not going to get bearish on Ether. It just broke initial support. And that might mean that Ethereum is in a different wave degree, actually. Okay. But doesn't change the fact that this is a correction, which I'm labeling as an ABC structure, which could be completed. So which could be completed, but it might form one more low um, in this white count, which is a WXY pattern. I suppose we could call that yellow one a short-term bullish count the white one short-term bearish, but there's absolutely currently no evidence that it wants to make another low, but there's also no evidence that it wants to break out. So as I said, we're in a range. The problem is why probabilities are, or the, you know, the probabilities are fairly balanced because the rally from the Saturday low, the 13th, was just in three waves. I cannot interpret this as a five-wave move up. So I'm labeling that as a three wave rally into the Monday high. And then basically this is just a range. Okay, three waves up, three waves down. And yeah, whatever happens here. I mean, the yellow count, if it plays out, we need five up to 3,770 to confirm really that wave four is bottomed. That's needed because this rally was in three waves. So if five waves form, it would have to be as a diagonal, which means the third wave would also be an ABC structure, and we might have completed waves A and B. This here could be now the C wave rally, but it needs to break and sustain above 3,300, and we want to get to 3,620 eventually in, th in the third wave. There's also a, a structural resistance level up here, the swing high from the 11th of April, and then we still need a wave four and a five. Wave four pullback usually tends to go to the 100% extension level, would be around 3,400, uh, maybe a bit lower. And then the fifth wave should get to 3,770. Those are the parameters I'm watching now. If you're following the yellow count, the invalidation point is down there. It's the Friday low at around 2,865. This level obviously needs to hold in order to follow a ye the yellow count to the upside, or we'll get invalidation. Yeah, not much more to add, I think, for Ether. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.